Total OS Today would like to take a brief moment to express some thoughts and prayers to the people of Joplin, Missouri, USA, who have suffered through some devastating tornadoes these past few days. May you find the peace and the strength to carry on and rebuild. Amen. In today's world, we expect technology to make our lives easier, get things done quicker, and so we can enjoy the more important things of life. That's why we created an operating system that does exactly that, and we called it Ubuntu. We believe in fast, effective computing for everyone. Created by the open source community and Canonical, Ubuntu is free to use and share at home and in business. Ubuntu is and will always be absolutely free. Thousands of apps, millions of users. Discover why. Ubuntu, humanity towards others. Hi everybody and welcome back to Total OS Today. Now I know what some of you may be thinking about that previous video clip. Who the heck was that? And is that a an Ubuntu commercial? Well that clip, a shortened clip, is from my friend at YouTube channel Infinitely Galactic. If you haven't already checked it out, please do so. Uh, he's had the channel a little bit less than a year, not a lot of videos, about 30, but it doesn't matter. All of them are excellent. Uh, a friend of mine from Australia runs the channel, and he has promised me a video on Linux versus Windows that I am looking forward to it. But that clip you saw was basically something he created, a basically a fake Ubuntu commercial that actually I thought looked and looks still um, pretty good so check it out I found it appropriate to include that because at the end he does say Ubuntu humanity towards others and considering what's been happening here to some of the people here you know in the states with the storms and the uh, tornadoes I just thought that was a fitting clip to add after the intro and then just add my musical introduction after that Okay, well, this video is about my uh, video diary, a three-day journey through Ubuntu 11.04 with the Unity, Unity Interface desktop. Overall, um, it ran pretty good. I was impressed. As a Windows user, I thought it ran pretty good. No crashes, except for the few minor bugs, which you will see here coming up. Uh, I thought Canonical did a pretty good job in releasing this version of Ubuntu as it stands. It could use some minor tweaks and tune-ups. Again, you will see that in the up upcoming video, but this is my journey, my video diary through the new Natty Narwhal with Unity. So enjoy it, and as always, I will catch you sometime in the future. Hi everybody and welcome back to Total OS Today. Well as you see here, this is the default wallpaper for Ubuntu 11.04, Natty Narwhal. I just installed this as a dual boot in my HP Multimedia laptop alongside uh, Windows XP. This is the 32-bit uh, edition. I'm going to try something different. This is going to be a long-term review over the course of 
oh, I don't know, two, three nights, maybe a week. Now, I did take a look at this before in a video screencast and trying to compare it to Windows 7, but I think the only fair way to do this is to try it over the course of at least a couple nights, maybe a week. And I think I'll just call this, you know, Diary of a Narwhal. What I'll do is I'll do multiple short videos, save it, uh, you know, to the system or to the desktop here. And then when I'm ready with the final video, I'll just edit all these or, uh, you know, combine all these together in one upload and then have some final thoughts. So I will call this one uh, Diary of a Narwhal Part 1, I guess. So let's begin. As I said, the installation went okay. It did seem to take a little bit longer than usual. Now this machine uh, does have uh, a video card, 128 megabyte video card and 2 gigabytes of RAM, so running Unity does not seem to be an issue although it, it does seem to install and run just slightly slower than the previous version of Ubuntu. Alright, a couple things I noticed here. Uh, I uploaded a video here, an HD video of my son playing ball last summer. HD videos continues to be a problem in Linux, at least for me, uh, at least with the default media players. I'm going to try this maybe tomorrow or next day with VLC and see what happens. Power management continues to be a problem. Uh, I clicked the battery icon. It stuck on laptop battery estimating. Oops, I clicked wireless there. Wireless seems okay, by the way, but uh, yeah, the battery power management continues to be a problem. Uh, let's see, what else have I noticed? I don't c care for the global menu here at the top, and I really kind of find it annoying that I cannot uh, right-click on the top panel bar and add applets, uh, add applications, applets, or move the panel bar to the bottom if I so choose to. And I think I did mention that before. Let's see what else. As far as uh, screencasting, I did a test, uh, a test screencast, saved it onto the desktop. That seems okay. So I think what I'll do with this video, part one, I think I'll leave it. At that, I will put a full charge on this laptop uh, overnight and maybe run it uh, tomorrow night and see how long the battery lasts. There have been reports of the uh, this one not being as efficient in terms of battery use as opposed to the previous versions of Ubuntu. Okay, guys, that's it for Diary of a Narwhal video part one. I will stop it here and we'll continue with... Uh, Part two. By the way, I have no idea how many parts this will be. I'm guessing at least three, and then maybe a final comment on Ubuntu 11.04 Natty Norwal 32-bit edition installed as a dual boot uh, alongside uh, Windows XP. Okay, that that's it for this. All right, day two. Uh, video number two or vlog number two of Diary of a Narwhal, Natty Narwhal 11.04 Ubuntu. Natty Narwhal is nuts, at least when it comes to power management. I downloaded, installed all the updates. There is an issue still. Laptop battery estimating, it's still stuck on there, so I downloaded this uh, power, this uh, widget battery monitor, a screenlet actually it's called, and I noticed that the 12 minute mark when it said 12 minutes remaining, I actually had almost 40 minutes. I'm not sure why battery management, power management is still an issue here in the year 2011. This is kind of disappointing. So as far as power management goes, the Narwhal is completely nuts. Uh, let's see, I had to download VLC to play the HD videos that I have. The default media players, at least for me, for HD, are completely worthless. Uh, what else did I download last night? Oh yeah, a program called Easy Shutdown. Now what this is, this is a timer, a shutdown countdown timer to shut off your computer. For example, let's say you wanted to fall asleep to some music as I did last night. You can set the hours minutes and seconds here. I tested it this last night and it worked flawlessly. 
and so far short time I've had Natty installed alongside Windows XP it appears to be stable so power management still an issue it's nuts I don't know why and my HD videos are now playing with uh, after downloading and installing VLC alright well that's it for vlog number two I forgot to mention I had a Linux Mint installed in this laptop. Linux Mint uh, with KDE, the last latest version, I think it's 4.6. Battery issue or power management was not an issue. It was actually, um, I mean, it worked right out of the box. What I did notice with KDE, even with this laptop with 2 gigabytes of RAM and a dedicated video card, it ran slow, almost, almost as slow as when I had Vista installed on this laptop I dare say but out of the box Linux Mint KDE worked uh, power management worked fine a little bit on the slow side that's why I uh, deleted it uh, I think um, KDE looks great lots of eye candy I think it needs to be streamlined so it'll run a little bit faster and smoother alright that's it on uh, power management and vlog number two Okay, this is vlog day three with Natty Narwhal Ubuntu 11.04. As you can see here, I just changed the uh, desktop wallpaper, gave it a little more color. I think this was the old Unity netbook wallpaper, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, um, I mentioned power management. It's still not, it's still not right. You know, it's um, showing up. Laptop battery estimating. It does appear that I am still getting two hours on my battery, which isn't bad considering this battery is four or five years old. So that's okay. I'm starting to um, I'm starting to get used to more used to the uh, Unity Bar here. This does remind me of the Windows 7 Super Bar, and I have to say I'm running this on a widescreen laptop, and this Unity default desktop with the bar here on the left really blends in rather nicely with the amount of real estate that I have on the widescreen laptop so this looks pretty cool I still wish the uh, panel bar was customizable it's it's kinda bizarre to have a Linux operating system which is extremely customizable and you can't customize something as simple as the panel bar let's see what else uh, downloaded the all the appropriate codecs including flash was browsing the internet and no crashes not one single crash so on that part I am very impressed on Ubuntu Natty Narwhal running unity okay well I think that's it for this part for this vlog I think I will probably do one maybe two more then I will wrap it up okay this will probably be the last uh, video blog vlog for Ubuntu 11.04 Natty Narwhal with Unity I must say it's been pretty uh, uneventful here running this brand new Linux uh, based operating system it's been uneventful but that's really a good thing a good thing meaning that nothing has crashed it's been uh, surprisingly uh, very stable running the multiple uh, desktops here or the with the workspace switcher. Uh, as far as running the apps, I've had no issues whatsoever. Uh, the only two minor gripes I have, as I mentioned, is the power management battery monitor. The default batter battery monitoring service doesn't work. I had to download the screenlet. Uh, I just moved it down here at the bottom left. I am getting two hours battery life with a fairly old battery which is good and HD videos does not work with the default media players but with VLC it seems to be running okay now is this going to convince uh, many Windows users to switch apparently this is uh, this is Canonical's goal is to attract as many Windows users as possible um, as a Windows user let me say that navigating through this has been uh, fairly easy. Uh, I don't know if this is really ready to compete with Windows 7 or next year I guess Windows 8 
might be coming out but in terms of ease of use and stability there's still a few minor bugs especially with the power management there may be something else that I may not have caught yet but as far as stability user friendliness and, and navigating through this as a Windows user I have not had any issues whatsoever so as far as all the flack that unity has been taking from the Linux community I understand that Linux geeks or power users may be uh, disappointed with unity I think it works great so far I think uh, this is going to compete with gnome or as I call it genome 3 I think genome 3 probably looks a little bit cooler but for Windows users I think unity might be a little bit more uh, functional in terms of navigating uh, through the OS especially with this uh, dock here at the left this uh, Windows 7 Superbar type unity dock bar here at the left so again this is probably going to be the last blog for this long-term review of unity uh, what I'm going to do now is download uh, uh, some video editing software for Linux and put these videos together so unless something happens let me just say that as a Windows dual booter right now I give unity a uh, thumbs up so that's it thank you for watching this edition of total OS today and as always I will catch you sometime in your Linux future thanks bye